Hey YouTube yogis, Lauren here. Welcome to another practice with me. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's practice is all about deep stretch, especially for these hips. So if you have been, I don't know, sat down for extended periods of time and maybe we're feeling a little bit stiff and achy, this is certainly the practice for you. So yes, we are going to be moving through some quite deep stretches today, but as always, feel free to tailor it to whatever you need it to be. So if you want to take some of the pressure off, that's absolutely fine. Feel free to bring in any extra props we might need, a couple of cushions or a couple of blocks, just to help support the body a little bit more as we come into these deep stretches. You're more than welcome to. And we're going to literally start straight on in and we're going to come into Pigeon. So this is quite a deep stretch to start with. So let's take our time maybe coming through into your tabletop start to slide the right shin forwards and you're going to bring your right knee somewhere behind the right wrist and then swing the right ankle forward so the right ankle comes somewhere behind the left wrist this right ankle does not need to be all the way up here this right shin does not need to be parallel towards the mat maybe just bringing it that slightly a little bit closer underneath the lengthening that left leg straight on back behind you Let's have this little cradling motion side to side. So this little sway from side to side. Okay, take a few moments just to kind of settle the lower body into this stretch today. We can start to tune into the breath a little bit here. And then maybe taking just one more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we may be ready to start lowering down onto those forearms. Beautiful. So taking it in stages. So it's quite important when we come into a deep stretch or a deep hip opener like pigeon pose straight away when the body is perhaps feeling quite cold to just take our time a little bit. And we don't need to be in the deepest, fullest, fullest expression of the pose straight away. Okay. So gently starting to drop in here little by little, bit by bit. And yes, if there's any extra props we want to bring in here, like a cushion underneath the chest or maybe a block underneath that right hip to help keep the hips square here, feel free to do so. And then you might be happy staying up here on the forearms or you might decide to slide the elbows out to the side. You might place one hand on top of the other or maybe you stack one fist on top of the other. Use that as a little pillow, a little platform for the forehead to rest on. So as well as letting the hips sink down towards the ground here, also letting the heart start to dive down. And we're going to be here for just a little bit of time. And I really invite you just to be with your breath here. With every inhale, we might feel that subtle rise of the back body as the rib cage expands. As you exhale, can you feel yourselves just surrendering into the earth? Beautiful. We're going to stay with that for a few more breaths. And as you work through that, maybe you imagine you're sending your breath to the place of your body that feels this most. So for me, I'm feeling this most in my right hip and also kind of in my right toes. So send in the breath there. But for you, it might be elsewhere. Maybe it's the left hip. Maybe it's the lower spine. Maybe it's the forehead resting into the earth. Send the breath to wherever in your body feels this the most here. And with every inhale, we welcome in that freshness, that spaciousness. As we exhale, sinking, softening. Beautiful. So using the breath to really light up those places within the body. Giving them just that little bit of attention here. Beautiful. Maybe stay for just three more of those breaths. Keep tuning in, keep diving into your body here. And just seeing what we find, what we notice. Okay, taking one more. And then on your inhale, really gently starting to rise. So lifting the forehead away from the hands. 
hands come down towards the ground as we start to lift the chest up that little bit higher beautiful and then gently let's tuck the left toes under start to walk that left knee in a couple of times and we're going to softly slide that right knee back next to left coming back into our tabletop and you might straight away notice a little difference comparing right hand side to the left hand side just have a little sway from side to side perhaps those sensations subside slightly okay beautiful and then when we're ready let's come straight on to the other side starting to slide that left knee forward so again you've got the left knee somewhere behind the left wrist swinging that left ankle slightly further in front so it comes somewhere behind the right wrist and then we can walk that right knee back just as far as it wants to go allowing the hips to sink down to the earth and exactly like we did on the other side let's take a few moments just to sway from side to side here beautiful almost like we're kind of peeking at the stretch so we're not kind of landing in it straight away and staying there we're kind of having a little peek first of all seeing what's there and then we may decide to have a good old glimpse at that stretch so again take a deep breath as we exhale again slowly making our way down onto the forearms beautiful Perhaps having the palms of the hands facing down just to help us ground here to the earth. Or we might have the palms of the hands facing up in this symbol of surrendering here. Notice whether your instinct is to grip or hold on. Are you interlacing the fingertips and kind of really clenching through the fists? Can we let that soften just a little bit? Sometimes when we're holding so much in the body, and when we're coming to that place is that hold so much, be it physical or emotional tension, we tend to grip elsewhere. So for instance, if you're feeling this intensity within the hip flexors, and we then include that clenching through the fists, we're actually inviting more tension in. So as we gently ease into those hips, invite in as much softness as we can. So the more softness we have through fingertips, through toes, wrists, shoulders, the more we're allowing the rest of the body to also follow in that search for softness. Beautiful. Now again, you can stay up onto the forearms or you might slide the elbows out to the side. One hand on top of the other. Forehead might come down here. Letting the heart sink that little bit closer down towards the ground. And again, let the weightiness of your body take over here. How does it feel to completely surrender your body to the earth? Notice whether there's resistance here. Are we unintentionally pushing the ground away? And it's okay if we notice these things. It's a very natural response when we come into something that might feel a little bit unfamiliar or a little bit uncertain. It's natural of us to resist it slightly. But rather than perhaps running away from resistance, maybe we can smile back at it. And as you smile back at that resistance, does that resistance also too get a chance to soften here? Again, being here for a little bit of time, allowing that breath to just wash that softness over us. Inhale, welcoming in that freshness, that spaciousness, lighting up those spaces within. Exhale, sinking down. Beautiful. Let's go for one more inhale. One more exhale. As we inhale, let's gently lift the head and chest. For, bring the hands down towards the ground to rise you all the way back up. So again, rising up steadily here. Let's tuck those right toes under. Start to walk the right knee in. And then gently sliding left knee back next to right, coming back into that tabletop. And again, just have a little sway from side to side. Let the body kind of gently come back to this neutral state here. 
And then in your own time, this shift from side to side can merge it into your cat and cow. So you can start to let the belly glide down towards the mat, lift up through head and heart, lift the tailbone up to the sky, gazing forwards. And then as you exhale, tucking the chin towards the chest, tucking the tailbone under, rounding through the back. Beautiful. Let's stay with that a couple of times. Breathing in, rising on up. Breathing out, rounding through the back. As always, go at a pace that feels best for you here. So if we're really craving that soft, steady movement, lean into it. Or if you find you've got a little bit more energy today, you might notice you naturally move through this a little bit more quickly. So again, either is okay here. Move how you want to move. And let's take maybe two more rounds of this, letting that soft breath guide you from one place to the next. And as we continue, we might notice that range of motion increase slightly, or we might find a little bit more fluidity or a little bit more freedom. One more round. Beautiful. Let's inhale. Coming to a neutral spine, and let's keep the hips stacked over the knees. Start to reach your fingertips towards the top of the mat. Take a breath. And as we exhale, we're just going to melt the heart down to the earth. Beautiful. Into our puppy dog pose. Maybe the forehead comes down to the ground, or maybe you turn one head to the side. Sorry, maybe you turn your head to the side, not one head. <laughs> Beautiful. Bringing a cheek down towards the mat, or it might be chin or forehead. Okay. In length through both sides of the body here. Melting heart down towards the mat. Take a breath. And an exhale. Beautiful. As we inhale, push down through the hands, lift the head and heart slightly, look towards the top of the mat here. See if we can perhaps glue the forearms down and then gently glide the hips all the way down towards the mat. You might need to walk the knees back behind you slightly here, okay? And then let the hips press down into the earth here. We're going to stay in sphinx for a moment. So again, forearms down towards the mat. Maybe a little push of the ground away. So shoulders come down and away from those ears. Shine the proud heart forward. You can have a little, perhaps a wriggle of hips from side to side. Okay. So just a moment to gently open up through the heart space. Allowing both legs to extend back behind you. Okay. Take a breath. And as we exhale, let's let the elbow slide out to the side, ripple the heart down, bring one hand on top of the other. Let's bring the forehead to the back of the hands, first of all. And again, allowing the glutes to relax slightly here. There might be a little sway from side to side, alleviating any pressure through the lower spine. Let the entirety of your front body connect to the earth. Okay, and then from here, let's lift the head and just turn your head to look to the left hand side. So kind of bringing your right side of the face down towards the back of the hands. And we're going to bend into that left knee and draw it up to the left hand side. So wriggling that left knee as far forwards as it wants to go. You can keep that right leg extended back behind you. And again, soft opening through the hips. And this might feel a little less intense than our pigeon where we've got the, instead of having the knee or the shin kind of underneath us, we're allowing that knee to open out to the side. So it's kind of a different stretch here. But even so, can we allow our body weight just to sink into the mat? And this might actually feel like a really familiar place to us. Maybe it's similar to how we sleep. So maybe it allows us to feel all nice and cosy. Beautiful, well done. Allow the breath to continue moving through you. And perhaps feel free to stay exactly as you are. Or you might begin to extend left leg out to the left hand side. So my foot has probably disappeared off the screen here. <laughs> So no worries, extending that left leg out to the left hand side, See, seeing if we can rest the inside of the leg down to the ground 
and just kick the sole of the foot out to the left hand side. So we don't need to worry about bringing the pinky toe down towards the mat here. Just kicking that left leg out to the side and it doesn't matter how far forwards it goes. Beautiful. So again, might be a slightly different sensation, but still opening through the hip, stretching through the inner thigh and allowing our weight of our bodies to, to sink into the mat. Okay. And let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful. And then from here, you can start to bend back into that left knee and simply slide that left leg all the way back next to right. Lift the head and let's come on to the other side. So turning our gaze to look to the right, bringing the left side of the face down towards the back of the hands. And exactly the same on the other side. We start to slide the right knee forwards, bending it out to the right hand side. Little opening through the hips here. Send that little reminder to your glutes, telling them it's okay to soften. Our glutes are so used to firing up all the time. They're a very protective muscle. They help protect the lower spine. They keep us grounded. So allow your glutes to rest for a moment. Perhaps we still find that little rise and fall of the back body with every breath in. Every breath out, sinking down. And again, feel free to stay exactly as you are. Or maybe this time starting to extend that right leg out to the right hand side, allowing the inside of the leg to stay down towards the mat here. Not worrying about bringing the pinky toe down towards the ground here. So you can shine that sole of the foot out to that right hand side. Again, it doesn't matter how far forward the right leg is going. Keep surrendering body into the ground and sending that little reminder to the glutes. It's okay to let go. Be here for maybe one more breath. Okay. And then gently starting to bend back into that right knee. And again, you can slide that right leg back next to the left. Lift in the head. Let's bring the forehead to the back of the hands for a moment here. Again, you might have a little wriggle of hips from side to side. Beautiful. And then lifting the head away from the back of the hands, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. And let's go soft with this movement. So it doesn't need to be a super strong moment here. Just starting to lift ourselves away from the ground and coming up into your little tabletop. You might need to shuffle the knees a little bit further forward. It's beautiful. From here, let's tuck all 10 toes under, take a breath. As we exhale, let's send the hips high to the sky. Take a downward facing dog and enjoy that nice deep stretch down through the backs of the legs. Beautiful. Have a much of a bend through the knees as you wish. Squishing belly back towards the thighs. There might be little bits of movement here. Little sways from side to side. Lovely. Making sure releasing through the back of the neck. So shake the head, nod the head again. Let it go. One more inhale. One more exhale. Let's inhale to look forwards towards the fingertips, bend the knees, and gently make our way to the top of the mat. One teeny tiny step after the other. Beautiful. So we spent quite a lot of time lying down on our fronts in our practice. So take a few moments just to let the feet connect down to the ground here. Bringing back a little bit of strength through the legs, but allowing the upper body to stay relaxed. So your arms can hang heavy, head can hang heavy. Crown of the head dripping down towards the ground here. A little sway from side to side. Take a breath. Take an exhale. And as we inhale, 
deeply bending through the knees. Let's really gently start to roll up through the spine, stack up bone by bone. No need to rush this. Beautiful. We're going to let the head be the final thing to lift. Take a moment to lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, send them down and away. Beautiful. Notice how it feels to simply bring yourselves up to standing here. Maybe we feel strong as we press the feet down into the ground. We feel sturdy. Maybe it's something else. We might feel a little bit off balance here. That's okay. Just take it all in. Notice how you feel in this moment right now. And again, fill yourselves up with that clean, fresh air as we inhale. And as we exhale, we're just going to make our way back down. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Head gets heavier and heavier. Slowly rolling down bone by bone. Beautiful. Allow yourselves to dive down towards the ground here. Maybe the fingertips now meet the mat, or maybe they don't. You can catch hold of opposite elbows here if you, if you prefer, allowing the weightiness of your arms to allow us to dive that little bit further forwards. Take another breath in. And another breath out. Beautiful. Let's bend the knees, release the fingertips down to the ground. Let's take a big step back with, let's go left leg first. So left leg to the back of the mat. Carefully lowering left knee all the way down to the ground and feel free to pad out that knee if needs be, if you're on quite a hard surface or a hard flooring. Okay. And then instead of rising up into this low lunge, we're actually going to stay folded over. So you might want to create those right toes a little bit further forwards, allowing the hips to drop down towards the ground. Fingertips can stay to the ground at either side of that right foot, or we might wrap the arms underneath this right thigh. And again, taking hold of opposite wrist, opposite elbow, and just allow those hips to drop forwards. Beautiful. Let the head hang heavy. You might even be able to rest your chin on this right knee, or maybe it's the forehead. Beautiful. And just allowing the hips to sink down towards the mat here. Lovely, really well done. That right foot is flat down to the ground. Maybe your right knee is even stacked over the ankle just to get the sense of stacking the bones. Okay. Beautiful. Couple more breaths here. Allowing ourselves to give us this little embrace here. Hugging ourselves as tightly as you wish. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then from here, begin to unravel the arms, lift the chest, bring the hands down towards this right knee, and then push down through the right knee to lift you all the way up. Beautiful. Start to have this little tuck of the tailbone under. So not necessarily lifting completely out of the hips here. You're still gliding the hips forward and down, but let's find that tuck of the tailbone under to hopefully feel that stretch down the left hip flexor here. Let's maybe keep left hand to the right knee. Right hand might come to the lower spine as we take a little twist towards that right hand side. Or you might feel like you want to reach right arm back behind you. Entirely your choice. If you're feeling a little bit wobbly today, choose a place that helps you feel stable here. Beautiful. Take a breath. Exhale. Beautiful, well done. And then from here, let's release that left hand down towards the ground. We're going to let that right arm come up and over, also to the inside of this right foot. Let's heel toe right foot out to the side, slightly creating a little bit more space for the hips to sink down. So again, staying within those hip flexors here. Okay. Again, let's bring back that little sway, that little rocking motion. Starting to peek at the stretch here. And yeah, we might already be feeling it. And if you are feeling it here, feel free to stay. There's no need to go any further. Or maybe we take a breath. And as we exhale, we may have this little venture into, again, dropping down onto those elbows. So even if we start to venture down here and we start to think, mm, nope, not today, you can come straight back up. Let's not worry so much about bringing both elbows down to the ground. If you know you can get one elbow down comfortably, perhaps it's the left. Maybe we stay with that. We've got the support of the right hand underneath us. We may be able to bring that right elbow down also. But again, that's again, slightly a deeper stretch here. 
So come to a level, come to a variation where it feels okay for you, knowing every day is going to be different, our bodies are different every day, we come to the mat with different sensations, different emotions, and they all have a play to how our practice might feel. So notice how your body feels in this moment and tailor, to the, tailor the practice to suit you now. Beautiful, we're just going to take one more breath in this lizard lunge. Exhale. Beautiful. Push down through the hands, rise all the way back up. And then we're going to start to lift the bottom of the hips slightly. You're going to extend your right leg out to the right hand side off the mat. And this time we are going to aim to keep, keep that pinky toe edge of the foot down to the ground. Let's start to swing the left ankle in slightly. Start to press your hips back towards that left heel. So taking a variation of your child's pose. You can either reach the fingertips forwards and we may bring the forehead down to the mat. Or again, maybe it's forearms. Maybe we stack one fist on top of the other. And use that as a little platform for the forehead to rest. Okay. So again, as best as you can, pinky toe edge of that right foot down to the ground. Feeling the stretch through the inside of the right thigh. Okay. Beautiful. Allowing the spine to also round slightly here. Shoulders might roll forward a touch. Pressing our hips back towards that left heel as best as we can. One more inhale. One more exhale. As we inhale, let's gently rise up, hands to the mat, lift the hips away from that left heel, and then use your hands to help you as you start to swing left ankle forwards underneath you, and gently guide the sit bones down. Beautiful, so we kind of land here, we've got the right leg extended out to the right hand side, left knee bent out to the left hand side. We're gonna have a little adjustment here, so we're gonna send left knee a little bit further out to the left hand side, and bring that right leg to kick straight out ahead, okay? So you've got the sole of of the left foot gently resting to the inside of the right leg sit bones down towards the ground let's take a beautiful fold here so hands either side of that right leg take a breath and as we exhale let's just start to slowly create the fingertips forwards steady as we go and again this doesn't need to be the deepest fold you have ever taken in your lives Maybe it's just that really soft hinge through the hips maybe we're only kind of folding kind of millimeters here maybe it's a little bit more, your body will tell you when it's enough today. Your body will say, okay, I'm good here. So listen for that moment. Listen for when your body tells you that's enough. And then just stay at that point. Maybe finding almost the edge of the stretch where it's a comfortable stretch, but we still know that we're bringing in all those juicy benefits, lengthening the muscles. Beautiful. So perhaps it's a stretch across the lower spine, perhaps it's a stretch down the back of the leg. So you don't need to worry about reaching for the toes here, or for the ankle, for the shin. Hands just really softly land either side of that right leg. And just fold as far as you want to go today. Beautiful, really well done. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Let's go for one more here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then as we inhale, let's really softly rise all the way back up. Let's bring the hand to left hand to the outside edge of that left knee just to guide it back up through center. Step it that little bit further out in front and bring the right foot to join it. Okay, if you've got a little less room back behind you, like I have, maybe have a little shimmy forwards. So you're gonna lean into the hands back behind you. It doesn't matter which direction the fingertips are pointing in, just go instinctively, which feels best for you. We're gonna push down through the hands and feet, take a deep breath. Exhale, push the ground away, start to lift the hips away from the skies, away from the mat, sorry, and start to lift them up to the sky as high as they wanna go. Maybe let the head drop back behind you, take a breath. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin, look towards your knees. Keep the hips lifted as best as you can as you start to walk the hands forwards and seeing if we can gently rise 
into this little toe stand. Beautiful. You can bring the fingertips down to the ground in front of you straight away as you get here. Or maybe you might find that balance. Maybe we can bring the palms, the hands together in front of that heart space. Beautiful. Our ankles are probably doing a little bit of a dance underneath us. That's okay. Can we keep the upper body soft? Shoulders down and away from the ears. Hearts open. One more breath. Exhale, and then from here, fingertips down to the ground. Let's lift the hips up high, come into that forward fold and enjoy that stretch down the back of the legs here. Have that little sway from side to side if you wish. Fingertips might now drag along the mats or again, maybe we take hold of opposite elbows. Lovely, well done. Releasing through the back of the neck so much so then rather we're looking to the ground between our feet, we can actually look back behind our legs. Okay, one more breath. One more exhale. From here, let's again take a deep bend through the knees, start to roll it through the spine, stack up bone by bone. Lovely. Okay, coming all the way up to standing. Head is the final thing to lift. Let's again take a shoulder roll here. And exhale. And again, just notice. How does it feel to stand now? We might notice a little difference between right and left hand side. That's okay, we're about to even it all out. So again, just take a moment to take it all in. Maybe we feel a little bit steadier. Maybe we feel we can breathe a little bit more deeply here. And let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's again dive our way down. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Slowly crowd of the head, dripping down towards the mat, little by little, bit by bit. Fingertips might walk down the length of the legs. Lovely, well done. Coming into that forward fold, full breath in. Full breath out. Let's bend through the knees, hands come down to the ground. Take a big step back with the right foot this time. And then again, we carefully lower, right knee all the way down. And then keeping left knee over the left ankle. So again, we get that sensation of kind of stacking the bones. But you might want to wriggle left toes that little bit further forward and then start to glide the hips forward and down. So giving as much space for the hips to drop down for the mat as they wish here. Yeah. And then again, you can keep the hands either side of that left foot and just letting the hips glide on down. Or maybe we take this little hug, wrapping the arms underneath this left thigh, and you might take a hold of opposite wrist or opposite elbow, and release through the back of the neck as we round forwards here. Beautiful. Okay. And just feel that sinking of the hips, feel that gentle pull of gravity welcoming you further and further. Okay. And without the hands down towards the ground, there might be a couple wobbles here. We might see all those little micro movements within the foot and the ankle keeping us stable, keeping us balanced here. Notice all the work the body does for us without us even have to, having to think about it. Okay. One more breath. One more exhale. Beautiful, let's inhale to unravel the arms out from underneath you, both hands to the top of this left knee. Push down through the left knee as you start to rise. Beautiful, you might lift the back of the hips slightly, but let's find that tuck of the tailbone under, still wanting to drive those hips down towards the ground. And then this time we keep right hand to left knee, either left hand to lower spine as we start to take that twist, or you might feel ready to stretch that left arm back behind you. Lovely, well done, take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful. And then from here, let's look down towards the top of the mat. Gently bring your right hand all the way down. And then the left hand is going to follow it down to the inside of that left leg. Let's start to wriggle. Left foot out to the left hand side. Into this lizard lunge. Okay. And then just starting to glide the hips down towards the mat here. So this might be familiar as to when we came down onto the other side. So take a moment to find that little sway, that little rock from side to side. Nothing too crazy here, maybe. 
Okay, find that breath, find that wash of softness. And then in your own time, we may start to venture down onto the forearms. So maybe the right elbow comes down here. Maybe we keep the support of the left hand underneath us. Or maybe the left elbow also comes down. But no worries if we come down here and we think, nope, not today. Okay, the beauty of this practice is that we always get to decide. We always get to choose what feels right in the moment. Okay, so remember this practice is for you. So if something doesn't feel right and it's not serving you, then in a way we're actually doing ourselves a disservice. Always listen to your body telling you what it needs now. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Okay. And as we inhale, let's gently start to rise back up, push down through the hands. And then let's start to lift up out of the hips. You're going to extend the left leg out to the left hand side. Let me have a little shimmy so maybe I can get my left foot into the screen here, just about. <laughs> so keeping the pinky toe of that left foot down to the ground. Swinging the right ankle slightly underneath you and then pressing the hips back towards that right heel. And again, you can reach the fingertips forwards and bow the head down. Or maybe forearms down, supporting the chest. Hands on top of the other or fists on top of the other. Creating that little pillow, that little platform for the forehead to rest. Beautiful. So again, you've got that pinky toe edge of that left foot down to the ground. Deep stretch through the inside of the left thigh here. And whilst we have that deep stretch for the inside of the left leg, you also have this really nice curling up for the rest of the body. So we again, let the shoulders round forwards, melt the hips back towards that right heel, heart sinking down to the ground, and just that rise and fall of the back body as we simply breathe. Taking a couple more breaths here. And we feel our heart sinking that little bit further. And then on our next inhale, let's start to rise, lift the head, lift the chest, rise up into almost a little tabletop here. You're going to keep that left leg extended out to the left hand side and start to swing that right ankle forward underneath you and then use your hands to help you to bring the sit bones all the way down towards the mat, okay? And then again, we're just gonna swing left leg to extend towards the top of the mat and bringing the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left leg, letting that right knee fall out to the right hand side. Let's come into that beautiful fold, hands either side of the left leg here, take a breath, find a little bit more length through the spine. And as we exhale, we fold forward, it's beautiful. Allowing the softness of your exhale to just take you as far as the body wants to go. Allow the inhale to find that length through the spine. Okay. And again, those hands really softly connect down to the mat. Sometimes it's really tempting to grip the mat a little bit more with the fingertips to see if we can kind of pull or for force the chest that little bit further forward. See if we can resist that as best as we can. And just let the heart dive as far forwards as it wants to go. Okay, send the breath to wherever you feel this most. How does it feel to close the eyes maybe in this place, in these places of stretch? We don't always need that external feedback. So sometimes by closing off the eyes, diving into this internal world, again, perhaps helps us to notice even more. And perhaps even now you're in a slightly different place compared to how you started your practice today. Taking one more inhale. One more exhale. And then as we inhale, let's again rise all the way up, slowly walk the fingertips towards you, 
We're going to bring right hand to the outside edge of that right knee, point it back up to the sky, maybe step it a little bit further forward, and that left foot comes in to meet it. Again, you might need to shimmy yourselves a little bit further down the mat, just making sure you've got enough space here. Let's take one more of those reverse tabletops, so pushing down through the hands and feet, take a breath. As you exhale, start to rise, lift the hips up as high as they want to go, maybe letting the head drop back behind you, deep breath in. And then as we exhale, let's again tuck the chin towards the chest, but instead of walking forwards, let's let the hips come all the way down. Beautiful. From here, use your hands to help you to come all the way down onto your back. So we're creeping in that little bit closer towards our Shavasana. So as always, if there's any extra cozy layers, feel free to welcome them in now. Perhaps we take a moment with the knees bent just to let the whole spine connect down towards the mat here. So feeling the back of the head supported, shoulder blades nestle underneath you, lower spine getting a little massage into the mat. Beautiful. And then from here, let's bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out to the side. Coming into our butterfly shape, so again, staying within that hip space. And we might even choose to be here for our shavasana we might choose this shape for our shavasana today but sometimes perhaps the more or perhaps the longer we stay here the more gravity pulls on the knees and the stretch might intensify slightly so again at any moment you feel as though you need to come out of this and simply bring the knees to a close and allow yourselves to rest there You might have the hands come into rest on the place of the body, maybe it's the belly or the chest. Perhaps you have the arms down by your side, backs to hands to the earth, fingertips naturally curling into the centre of your palm. Ask yourselves, what do you notice here? What do we feel here? Rise and fall of belly. Taking in that freshness, letting go of anything that's perhaps been holding on to us or we've been holding on to. With every exhale, feeling that gentle pull of gravity welcoming us a little bit closer. Perhaps we even notice this buzzing of ourselves, this electricity buzzing, fizzing within ourselves. Perhaps in the fingertips or in the toes. Reminding us that we are alive here. And then ever so gradually, the more we quieten down, maybe we start to notice this gentle thump of our heart within our chest. Feeling your heartbeats beating just for you. So for the next few moments of our practice today, Allow yourselves to rest knowing that nothing else matters apart from you, your breath, and that beat of your heart.
Take a deep breath in through the nose. Softly sigh out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One final time, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Gently starting to wriggle through fingertips and toes. Rotating wrists and ankles and maybe bringing the hands to the outer edge of the thighs, helping the knees to come to the to come to a close if they haven't already. You can step the feet a little bit further apart, maybe have a little sway of the knees from side to side. Feel free to take any little bits of movement that feel really good for you in this moment. You might take a beautiful stretch along the mat, have a good old yawn, stretch the legs out in the front or curl yourselves up, whatever it may be. And then gently choosing a side, either the left or the right, and rolling onto that one side. And using your hands to help you as we rise all the way up, finding that comfortable seat. So again, let's gently nestle those sit bones down and towards the mat. Let's bring the palms, the hands to rest onto the knees here. And then let those shoulders slide down and away from those ears. As always, we seal our practice together with the final blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. And may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life. And with that, palms and hands come together in front of the heart. And we bow. Rising up when you're ready. Beautiful. Thank you so much, YouTube yogis, for joining me today for that very hippie practice. I hope you're feeling suitably stretched out and perhaps a little bit more rejuvenated, energized for the rest of the day and whatever it may bring. So I hope you do have a lovely rest of your day and I'll be back in about two weeks with another free class for you. So I hope to see you then. All right. Mwah. Bye. Hey Yogi, thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. Just thought I'd sneak in at the end here and say if you are wanting to practice a little bit more, if you perhaps want to dive a little bit deeper into the beautiful world of yoga, then the great news is, is that I'm offering one-to-ones online. So you can join me from the comfort of your home, me from mine, and we can get together either live online or I'll pre-record some classes just for you. And the beauty of those practices is that they are tailored to what you desire. So if you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about yoga, if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure what's what and you want to get a deeper understanding of anatomy or how the body kind of moves around on the mat, or maybe you're just wanting to try slightly different practices. If you're wanting to try yin yoga, for example, or maybe we're kind of building up the confidence to maybe return to the studio in person and we're not quite got that confidence just yet. So if any of those speak to you, or maybe it's something else entirely, do feel free to reach out to me. You can either check me out on Instagram, send me a message over there, or just send me an email. And I would love to practice with you. Whatever it is, I'd love to tailor the practice to suit you, suit your individual needs, and we can go on this little journey together. So as I say, all the details are below if you want to have a chat, and I hope to hear from you very soon. All right, lots of love. Mwah.